Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize and pay tribute to the life and legacy of an Alabama State Representative, Dr. Yvonne Kennedy, a lawmaker from Mobile, Alabama, who passed away sadly on Saturday at the age of 67. Dr. Kennedy was a pillar in the community and a tremendous public servant. She was the epitome of a servant leader, and she blazed the trails in Alabama politics that so many of us now follow. She led by example and was motivated by a drive and a passion for public service and education. I am deeply saddened by her passing and know that her legacy of service will live on. Yvonne Kennedy was born on January 8, 1945 in Mobile, Alabama to Leroy and Thelma Kennedy. At a young age, she displayed a commitment to academic excellence and upon graduating from high school, earned her bachelor's degree from Alabama State University, a master's degree from Morgan State University, and a PhD from the University of Alabama. These early accomplishments were the beginning of an illustrious career, both as a lawmaker and a community leader. First elected to the Alabama State House of Representatives in a special election in 1979, Dr. Kennedy was one of the longest serving members of the Alabama State Legislature. She served the 97th District of Mobile for more than 33 years. She was a prominent lawmaker who fought against Alabama's egregious voter right ID laws, and she also championed the restoration of voter rights for rehabilitated ex-felons. She was the former chair of Alabama's Legislative Black Caucus and was well respected by her colleagues. Her tireless commitment to public service and her advocacy for quality education in Alabama was unparalleled. In 1981, Dr. Kennedy became the president of State Community College in Mobile, Alabama, and she served in that role for over 25 years. Under her leadership, Bishop State expanded from one campus to three campuses and flourished under her until her departure in 2007. Dr. Kennedy was a premier educator whose commitment to education knew no bounds. Dr. Kennedy was a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and was their 19th national president from 1988 to 1992. She served on the board of Association of Higher Education, Alabama's Junior Miss, a trustee for Miles College, and she was a long-standing member of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. She was chairwoman of the Mobile County Uni United Negro College Fund and youth director of the Board of Christian Education, Southeastern Alabama Conference. Now, I know that my generation owes Dr. Dr. Kennedy, a, a debt of gratitude. I know that my generation stands on the shoulders of the trailblazers like Dr. Yvonne Kennedy. It was her light that guided the path that led me to become Alabama's first African-American congresswoman, and for that, I am eternally grateful. She left an indelible imprint on Alabama and across this nation, and her legacy will live on. It is indeed a great privilege and honor that I have today to recognize her legacy and contributions of Dr. Yvonne Kennedy with this tribute on the floor of the House of Representatives. Let her life stand as a testament to the courage and strength of one individual's ability to shape the lives of so many. On behalf of the 7th Congressional District and the state of Alabama and a grateful nation, I ask my colleagues to join me in honoring the life and legacy of Dr. Yvonne Kennedy.